Good afternoon, everybody. It's me once more, Benjamin Mkwabo, the national chairperson of the Idol Zimbabwe. Right now, I'm here to respond to these accusations which are coming from our other party members. Uh, I heard that uh, the, the chairperson of the Idol Zimbabwe, the provincial chairperson of the Western Cape, Mr. Blessing Chikande, is accusing me of being bogus in the party. And uh, he also saying that he is the rightful owner of Idol Zimbabwe. And he, he, he gave the list of the people who he is claiming to be the rightful owner of Idol Zimbabwe. Uh, let me start by saying, I do Zimbabwe is not a party which is owned by an individual. That party is owned by the Zimbabweans. The hard-working revolutionarist Zimbabweans are the owners of the ideal Zimbabwe. Mr. Chikande said he is the rightful chairperson and he mentioned that uh, Adko is his vice chairperson. And he also mentioned that Maposa as his treasurer general and Rushuayo as organizing secretary. Let me clarify onto that. Those people are provincial committee. They are not even in the national executive committee. Chigande is the Western Cape provincial chairperson. Hardcore is his vice in the Western Cape, and uh, Maposa is a treasurer. I can't say he was a treasurer of the Western Cape province. Uh, these guys, I want to ask you something. If you are really, really much concerned about the disappearance of our leader, Mr. Tinashe Jonas, what have you done so far, or what are you doing to get our leader back. You are just sitting at home right there doing nothing. You are just giving me phone calls to give you updates. Hello Mr. Chairperson, can you please give us updates? How far? Hello Mr. Chairperson, can you give us updates? But you are doing nothing. You didn't even try to, 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 to go to the police station to try to push, push it, push anything. You are just sitting at home doing nothing but at the media you claim that you are the rightful owner of the party. Shame on you. You see, the only person I can salute as a soldier in the party is our national chief spokesperson, which is Ngobile Sondo. Me and Ngobile Sondo, we took the detectives to the crime scene. We spent hours there trying to find evidence which can lead to uh, the, 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 the arrest and find our leader, uh, Tinashe Jonas. We spent hours there with the detectives. We even uh, went at night to the police station to find out how far are they with the investigation. We are not sleeping. We are moving day and night. We never even asked any help from them. They never even asked, okay, you guys, as you're driving up and down, let us put 50 rand for patrol. You, we never ask you anything, but you are sitting at home claiming that you are the rightful owner of the party. Shame on you guys. Yeah, I also want to report on the other members who are saying uh, Tinashe Jonas was ruined by me using my money to come to Cape Town without following the proper channel. Tinashe Jonas was never ruined by anybody. Tinashe Jonas came to Cape Town because he was running for his life. There were several attempts to his life in Pretoria. He was attacked on the 1st of December. I think everybody knows about that. After his attack, there were several attempts to his life. He came without telling anybody simply because some of the party members were also involved in his uh, attack on the 1st of December. Some of the members were informers of the military intelligence. So he didn't tell anybody he is coming to Cape Town. 
as for you, uh, Maposa, you claiming to be the rightful treasurer general of I do Zimbabwe. We came to the Western Cape Chairperson's house, me and the president, to, to tell them about the emergency meeting which we were going to held at the hotel in, uh, here in Cape Town. We phoned you, Maposa, and asked you to join the emergency meeting because there are some crucial discussions we need to do there. What did you do? You respond that you are catching an Uber. You're going to be right there soon. We waited for you and waited for you. Did you arrive? No. You even phoned the president and told them that you are on the way. We delayed the meeting waiting for you to come, of which you never pitched. After you never pitched, what did you do? You never even sent a message or phone the following day to explain the reason why you couldn't manage to be on the meeting. You just decided to keep quiet. Now today you're coming with this, that you are the rightful owner of the party. Are you, are you still normal? The, the, the abduction of our president happened right here in Cape Town. And you are staying right here in Cape Town. Did you ever go to the police station here in Cape Town? It is the police station where we reported the case. It's right here in Cape Town. Did you ever go there and ask the detective to fast forward the investigation or try to show something that you are really much concerned? No. The only thing what you know, guys, uh, the only thing what you are busy with is to phoning me to give you updates. How far? Okay, guys, I'm going to the police station. Okay, tell us when you come back there. I went to the police station. I come back. I go there. I go there. The detectives are coming to my house and we, um, I'm busy trying to give them much evidence. But while you are sitting at home doing nothing, at the end of the day now you wake up and say, I am the one who has something to do with his disappearance. Are you still normal? Guys, let us not start uh, pointing fingers at, at, at each other. If you're really, really much concerned about the disappearance of our leader, show up, show the support. Even if you don't show uh, the support financially, but at least show up. Try to arrange a meeting. I even called you guys. Okay, guys, can we sit down and arrange something? We need to do a, a demonstration there by the embassy. Where are you guys? You are just locking your, door, your doors inside your houses. Did you pitch? Did you even come with an idea just to send an idea? Okay, guys, I think the only idea we can have is to do this and that. Did you do that? Nothing. The only thing what you need is I must... Use my own aid time, phoning you guys, giving you updates. And this is the developments we have today. And this is what is happening today. And blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Then tomorrow you wake up and accuse me for his abduction. And you claim that you are the rightful owner. And you are saying that I am only two months in the party. Guys, stop this. This is the worst thing you can start thinking of. When it comes to this, if you know that you really don't want to be involved in uh, politics anymore, don't start point fingers at each other. If you really want to work together, work together, show up. Even your, 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 your single idea, I'm not, I'm, I never ask for a donation or I never ask for petrol money. I never ask for anything that can help to facilitate uh, the investigations and drive to the police and try to make uh, a signal to the world that whoever abducted him to know that this is not over. I am doing that myself. You didn't even try and arrange even to go to the paper just to say, okay, whoever has information about Tinashe Jonas' whereabouts, will you please let the police know you don't even know the case number. You don't even know the detective who's doing the case. You are just sitting at home doing nothing. And on top of it, you are trying now to shift the accusations on me. Guys, Tinashe Jonas was never lured by anyone to come to Cape Town. He came to Cape Town. He 
found me when he was about to arrive in Cape Town. He told me that he will be in Cape Town within two hours. Then I asked him, is everything okay? Then he said, he cannot uh, discuss anything over the phone. We really need to meet. Then when we meet, I go pick him up. Then he explained to me about all the attempts to his life, which was made in Pretoria. And he feel that he is no longer safe. He has to run and he has to see other leaders. And then we need to prepare our 2020 move. What are we going to do for the for this coming year? All the meetings, especially you, chairperson of the Western Cape, blessing Chiden, Chichigande, you only attended one meeting, of which that meeting I'm the one who picked you up from your house and dropped you back to your, by, by your house. After that, you told the president that you really need to organize the whole Western Cape Committee to meet with you. And you also promised the president that you are going to, 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 to conduct him when you finish uh, facilitate the, the, and arrange about the next meeting, of which you never did. The only thing you started phoning me is when you want updates. Hello, can you please update about the, 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 the case? How far are you? I am doing all those things by myself. Why is you are sitting out there at, at, at your house? Please stop with this accusation. If you really want to work together, let us work together and try and get to the bottom of this without accusing anybody. If you don't want to work together or you want to make your, your own ideal Zimbabwe in the Western Cape, then carry on with your small group of provincial ideal Zimbabwe, but you must change the name. Because ideal Zimbabwe is the party, revolutionary party, which is going to lead the freedom of Zimbabwe. And it is the party which is owned by the people of Zimbabwe. Thank you.